Well, welcome to my talk. My name is David Mulder. I am a Samba team member um, and also a SUSE Labs employee, engineer. Um, in this talk, I'll be talking about uh, my project called Himmelblau. It's in so association with the Samba team. Um, and it, the purpose of, uh, of this project is to connect um, Linux with the Azure um, uh, Enter ID, is what it's called now, formerly Active Directory, uh, Azure Active Directory, uh, authentication and single sign-on and such. So I'll start out giving you a introduction and a demo. I'm going to both demo Windows approach to this, which you'll f find interesting, and, and our approach. Um, and uh, give you some background to the project, kind of some of the reasons why we're doing this. Uh, there's a couple other members of the Sombra team that have helped out a little bit. Um, I'd like to acknowledge William Brown. He's done a lot of work. Um, and I'll show you how to configure Helmelblau, and then I'll talk about some of the next steps that are planned for the project. So an introduction. Um, it's an interoperability suite for Azure Enter ID, um, and and also I, I'm targeting support for Intune. Uh, Intune, if you're not familiar, is um, Microsoft's cloud support or cloud uh, group policy kind of. In fact, it supports some of the old group policies that you can integrate into Azure Cloud. Um, I'm working on that, but there's some roadblocks because Microsoft is is not providing documentation for Intune. Um, it facilitates Linux authentication into Azure AD, um, providing PAM and NSS modules to do that. It communicates using uh, the Himmelblau D daemon, and yeah, I mentioned Intune. So if you've heard of Ubuntu's AAD auth project, um, I don't know if you're aware, but Ubuntu officially announced it was deprecated uh, about a month ago. I don't think I mentioned that on this slide. But after the last time I gave a similar talk, they actually deprecated it officially. Um, it doesn't enroll the device. Uh, there's some, uh, these are some big differences between, uh, or behind why we decided to go different ways and did not co collaborate with Ubuntu on this. Um, AAD also, Ubuntu's approach it requires some explicit client um, application configuration inside of Enter ID, um, which is kind of complicated. Um, Himmelblau instead is using is mirroring Windows behavior and doing it seamlessly. Um, Ubuntu's project doesn't provide MFA, which is kind of the whole point. In fact, they are explicitly ignoring MFA requests from Microsoft and and allow granting you access to the host despite the MFA demand failing. So, it, and Ubuntu has pushed this project to their um, supported mainstream distros, and um, and the community is actually using these. Um, Ubuntu's project doesn't utilize the TPM as it should, uh, and actually depends on Microsoft code. We do not, and it is officially abandoned. I did attempt to collaborate with them and even suggested that they use my library and they just stopped talking to me. <laughs> okay, so we support all these things. Um, and, uh, um, and our approach is written in Rust, so it's memory safe. That's an important di differentiation. It doesn't have any Microsoft code dependencies, so on. So, some of the uh, roadblocks and the significance of this project, Microsoft has not been cooperating. Um, initially, we were in discussions with Microsoft. Um, those discussions broke down. And um, Microsoft has chosen to provide proprietary binaries to provide a similar but not complete behavior. And uh, um, uh, anyway, we, we disagreed with that approach, obviously. Um, Microsoft binaries are lacking in integration, and of course the community wants a, does not want to use a proprietary solution. So I'll provide a quick demo. So this is how you do it on Microsoft. 
Now, bear with me, this takes a while. The authentication, and, and this is doing an enrollment in um, Azure AD, enrolling the Windows device. And notice, I can, I can call this out explicitly now because it's finally fixed. This user requires MFA, and it just enrolled the device. <laughs> Oops. So it turns out that Microsoft's, um, Microsoft's uh, uh, API was failing to recognize that the user in, um, needs or requires MFA when devices are being enrolled. So if you wanted to auth authenticate to Microsoft's service and you didn't want to uh, use MFA like it demands, like your uh, account demanded, you just had to tell it you were enrolling and they would let you in. Still waiting. I mean, it kind of looks like it locked up. <laughs> so this takes several minutes. I think I'm just going to skip past it this time. But it takes like five minutes and then oh, it did lock up. Well, that's lovely. My computer's frozen. <laughs> well, technical difficulties. That's what I get for recording my demo, huh? Well, I guess we're not going to finish that demo or the rest of the slides. <laughs> Here, I'll pull it up on my phone really quick and I can see some of it. Well, no, I, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's going to take a while to get that all set up again, so I'll just move on. Okay, so Microsoft's Authentication crashed my computer. Nice. <laughs> Just the demo. So um, in, um, in, in Tumbleweed, which is what I was going to show you next, you can authenticate um, using GDM or SSH. In the GDM login window, you would um, sign, if, sign, you click on the other option when you're signing in and you type in your your um, enter ID, authentication ID, and um, if it first prompts you for a password, and then you can move on and authenticate using MFA. Now, using Himmelblau, when you configure Himmelblau, you can um, enroll during authentication time. Um, so the first time you authenticate, it'll enroll your device just like it does in Windows. And it takes about 10 seconds, by the way, versus Microsoft's slow um, mess. And um, uh, if the NF, all of the NFA, oh, sorry, all of the MFA options supported by Microsoft are supported in Himmelblau. So you can use a, um, the, the Microsoft Authenticator app, which just pops up a little dialog on your phone and you click sign in uh, t for MFA. Or you can um, use an alternative Authenticator app if you choose. Um, I've tested it with Google's Authenticator. Or you can use a text message or, or a phone call co uh, confirmation as well. Um, also, one, uh, one disadvantage to Microsoft's approach is that you can't sign in remotely, as far as I'm aware. But, uh, and uh, in fact, um, it doesn't work with um, Microsoft's proprietary binaries. And, Microsoft right now, when the, um, their customers try to use a Linux VM in the cloud to authenticate to their servers, they recommend that they set up a, um, a certificate uh, key exchange or something to try to uh, make it work. And they, they have lots of workarounds on their website and their documentation explaining how to do this. But using Himmelblau, um, uh, a user can auth authenticate, which I would have shown you here, 
a user can authenticate just like they normally would over SSH. Um, and then you get text prompts explaining for, uh, what you need to do uh, to authenticate to, uh, through MFA. And it would be just a normal SSH session. You do have to enable extra prompts in, in your SS, SSH configuration, which is um, default in OpenSUSE. But also, you can enroll the device over SSH. To configure Himmelblau, um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the, uh, you connect, or you, when you're connected to the host, you, uh, there's a simple configuration file where you uh, specify the domain and, that you want to be authorized. You can uh, authorize multiple domains. And then you, can, you also specify the permitted users or groups. And this is useful because you can configure a group of specific users in, um, in Azure AD and specify which users have the right to authenticate. Um, you know, I'm going to turn this off since it's frozen. After you've configured it, the, um, the co configuration file, you just need to configure PAM, which is a simple call to PAM, PAM config on OpenSUSE. Um, and then you need to configure. Oh, interesting. And then you need to configure um, uh, NSS uh, to provide the uh, user information. Um, afterwards, you just run the daemon and it, uh, it's all ready to go. Okay, so um, after it's all, it's all configured and running, um, I'm trying to think what I was going to tell you next. <laughs> it's all in my slides. <laughs> Here, maybe I can get this up really quick. I'm going to reboot it. Um, oh, the next things that I'm doing on the project. Um, some of the future plans, uh, planning to uh, add a cloud Kerberos support. That's in the works. I'm almost done with some of the bits for that. Um, so that you can fetch a TGT for, your, your, uh, for Azure AD. Um, also working, uh, let's see, working on a lot of uh, Samba integration. So that's kind of the future for this project is that it's being integrated into Samba. So you'll be able to configure Himmelblau inside of Samba and join and, and authenticate in a, uh, you know, basically the a traditional way. Um, it won't be inside of Windbind. Decided that uh, it's too too of us too much of a special purpose project. Um, it, so it'll be a, a new daemon inside of Samba, and um, so you'll configure it similar to the way you would Windbind. And I'm planning on having it set up so that you can um, either enroll at authentication time, like a, you would on a typical Windows device, or you can enroll using Samba tool, which is more typical of, um, of uh, Samba. Just a second, I'm going to log in. pretty close now, so I'll go ahead and get this back up. This is great. It was basically the worst case scenario when you're doing a, a presentation. David, uh, I had a question. I don't know if you're focused on uh, setting the machine back up and I uh, wait for, uh, for later. Ah, okay. You get, hey, there. we're back up. Yeah, go ahead. The SSH, the MFA over SSH, um, I, if you can explain me um, 
When, uh, when, for example, in, uh, in SUSE, I'm also a SUSE employee, we use Okta for a number of services uh, that yeah. gives uh, um, multi-factor authentication. But whenever I use a command line application and uh, to access a service that requires MFA, for example, our clone to use uh, cloud storage, our clone, and uh, for some reason, there is always the need to pop up a web browser and I need to click on a button. So is the SSH solution that you are uh, developing uh, addressing this or is it a completely different uh, scenario? And uh, That's a good question, actually, and um, uh, it is addressing that. So um, what's happening in, um, in Himmelblau is it's emulating the browser through a, a post and get request. And uh, it's uh, uh, basically faking that authentication through the browser. So in our discussions with Microsoft, one of the big sticking points was that Microsoft said that we must authenticate through the browser, period. And that was you know, a big problem because that means it will never work over SSH. And I mean, I, I tinkered with ideas of like providing a, uh, providing a, a browser-based uh, br uh, authentication in the terminal, which was awful. I tried it. It was just ugly. <laughs> but that's, I mean, that's a possibility, but it is really ugly. Um, so what I ended up settling on was emulating the browser. And, uh, and that works fairly well. Um, we are trying to push Microsoft to provide a more um, streamlined approach that does not require the browser. Um, I'll continue to encourage them <laughs> to provide that, but in the meantime, we are just doing it in kind of a um, best, the best way possible. Um, and actually, Giovanni brought up an interesting point. So he talked about um, uh, we use Google Workspace, and um, the, there's plans in the future to support Google Workspace and and AWS as well. Um, so. Here's the configuration I, I, I was going to show you. So you install Himmelblau. It's available on Tumbleweed. It is not in a supported Leap distribution yet, but the um, uh, but I do have uh, experimental packages available that you can try out. Um, that's the configuration file that I was talking about. Um, you literally just set the domain that you want or domains and the users or groups and then the configuration is done. And after you do that and start the daemon, you can log in pretty much. Well, and you configure PAM, but. Yeah, so that's where, how you start the daemon. Um, PAM configuration is pretty straightforward on OpenSUSE. I've set up PAM config to handle that. Um, NSS is really simple. You just append the Himmelblau NSS module. Okay, so here's where I was was a few minutes ago. So some of the other things. Uh, I, I, in fact, on here, this slide is old enough that I didn't mention the Kerbero stuff that I told you guys. Um, so one of the things that you missed because the video presentation wasn't working, or the demo presentation, is that um, I'm, I've added Windows Hello support. And this works exactly the same way as it does on Windows. It's not uh, faked or anything. The way Windows Hello works is that you have this um, uh, process for enrolling a um, RSA key um, after you've authenticated using MFA. And you enroll a key, and if you've ever set up a Windows machine or you saw it there, uh, or you would have seen here, um, they have you set, uh, set a PIN code to authenticate to your system. And that PIN code is, um, uh, is used to unlock a TPM key and, that, and the public key is registered with Microsoft and represents you when you authenticate. Um, so in the future, I'd like to get uh, fingerprint authentication working and that also, um, uh, also get the FIDO keys working, which would be convenient. Um, there are some plans to try to do a QR code authentication. Uh, using the uh, device authentication code, so you can just scan a QR code on your on your laptop. Um, that's in the works, but there's a caveat to that because Microsoft is discouraging people from using that process, and it will probably be disabled at some point. So maybe not the best. Um, 
Uh, I plan on getting a browser single sign-on working. The point of that is that you could uh, sign into your laptop and it would automatically be signed into Azure. Um, so you have access to Teams and um, uh, Office 365 it would automatically be signed in in the browser. And there's uh, some projects that'll, that support that that we need to integrate with. Uh, specifically, XDG Credentials Portal um, would help us with that. Oh, and yeah, anyway. Uh, Intune enrollment, uh, I mentioned, is a work in progress. Um, I plan on integrating with Augeus to uh, set policies on the system. And then I mentioned Winbind integration. Now, I'm basically to the end here. We've got a few minutes, so I'm going to go back and see if we can play, uh, do some of the uh, demos at the end here. Hopefully it doesn't break anything. Okay, so I'll let this run. This is the an S example of SSHing into a machine. This machine's already been joined. So if her, you can see the, the, UR, or the, um, the authentication command is a little bit weird because you've got the uh, UPN of the user at the, S uh, the uh, IP address. So it looks a little strange. You do have to use the UPN. Microsoft requires that. Um, so you see there's the prompt from uh, being sent by SSH for a uh, authenticator code. Now if you're using a authenticator app that doesn't require a code, well, that's possible. It'll, it'll instead just pull here and waiting for, wait for you. Um, and in my video here, I'm just typing it in. I had to pull my phone out. Uh, did it freeze again? Yeah, it froze. Okay, so. <laughs> We're not going to see that today. <laughs> I swear this didn't happen when, I, when I've done this previously. Not sure what the problem is. All right. Well, uh, are there any other questions? Uh, we can go over questions. Go ahead, Matt, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Wait for a mic. Uh, just out of curiosity, where does the name Himmelblau come from? Uh, well, das ist Deutsch. <laughs> uh, uh, so sky blue or azure blue, just kind of a, a silly name to, uh, for, or to refer to Microsoft's Azure cloud. That's what it is. Any other questions? All right, well, thank you. <laughs>